Hey everybody, my name is Cameron King. Uh, I work for Titan Motoring in Nashville, Tennessee. And uh, first question on the list says, reasons for selecting current position or occupation. Um, I think a couple years ago during COVID, or at least the beginning of COVID, I was kind of in the midst of trying to figure out exactly what I what I wanted to do and what my aspirations were for just career. Um, and I knew that I had a passion for, uh, or at least I had a desire to learn kind of automotive stuff. Um, I just had no idea how because I had no uh, legitimate um, knowledge or teaching or anything of it. I didn't grow up working on cars or anything like that. I, I grew up building Legos. Um, so, but I knew that I, I had that mindset from what I was told uh, from people and everything. And, and I knew that I uh, wanted to get into that. Um, now, as for the sales part of it, which is this is primarily about, um, I had a couple other little retail jobs of like working in the mall and everything that I, I uh, was consistently like a top performer there. Um, and use that as kind of a like a, uh, a basis of knowing how sales and customer service and whatnot is supposed to work. Um, so started with that and knew that I wanted to run with that some way, somehow. Um, and here I am today. So doing sales at, at Titan and loving every bit of it. Second question on the list is what resources, people, or inspirations helped you realize your current level of achievement? As I kind of said last year, uh, for those of you that don't remember, uh, last year I kind of mentioned the people that have been a, a huge impact to me uh, with Titan and just throughout the industry, um, especially now that I've gotten to meet some more people, know some more people, uh, get my name out there a little bit more. People sort of know who I am. I'm not quite there yet, uh, but a little little bit of people know kind of my name or at least know, have heard of me. Um, so I think people, uh, I'll start off with people at, at Titan because uh, I think they're going to be the, the biggest influence in, in me currently. Um, as I, 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 I can't say that anyone in particular there has helped me kind of realize uh, my level of, sh of achievement um, to uh, my skill set and everything. But um, I do, I can say that Ray West, Dan Bowman, Phil Lindsay, Lindsley, man, I just, I just butchered his name and he's the owner. Wow, he's never going to let that one up. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Chris Robertson, um, all those guys that are at the front counter with me, uh, or at least up, kind of what we say up top in the, the sales floor with me, um, on a daily basis, all of them are, are great guys. Um, they've all pushed me and, uh, really just wanted to see the best for me. Um, they will con consistently tell me that either I need to work on this sales strategy or I need to, um, a uh, better way to follow up with clients or whatever it might be. Uh, they're all they're all pushing me on a daily basis to do that um, and to continue to grow and um, and for and for me for me to realize that a lot of guys at the current day and age of where they're at in their career they're not where I'm at um, I'm on track this year to uh, my goal is to do um, about 1.4 million by myself um, and I am pretty good on on that and I think I'm, I'm think I'm gonna hit that uh, I honestly think I might surpass it a little bit um, but a lot of guys I mean a lot of guys that have been doing this for years they don't do that um, and and I think to say that I'm 24 years old going on 25 and uh, can say that and say that all those clients and jobs were things that I I sold on my own or, or for the most part on my own maybe I had a couple little assistants here and there but um, to be able to confidently say that that they did it on their own, um, I think is is pretty cool. Um, so I take pride in that. Um, the last question uh, it says, "What achievements have you accomplished to make you deserving of the award and the challenges you overcame as a result?" I think achievements I would put hand in hand with kind of what I was just saying with kind of sales numbers and whatnot. Um, the 
I take pride in the fact that I am able to retain clients. I have clients that I still talk to that were some of my day one clients that when I was first learning and didn't know a whole lot and I really struggled to build their jobs and do, do stuff for them. I still have clients like those that I talk to on a somewhat consistent basis. Um, and they've come back several times with newer vehicles, uh, with the vehicles that we first worked on, um, and been able to still do more jobs for them and everything. So I think being able to retain those clients is a huge thing uh, that I take pride in. Um, and not necessarily just looking at it as like, a, this is a new client, so I'm just going to do this one job for them and leave it at that. I think it's the fact that I'm able to uh, take that one client, build off of it, maybe get to know, uh, get my name out there to their buddies, their, their brothers, sisters, uh, in-laws, whatever it might be, um, and get them to kind of recommend to come to me and get, get some stuff done on, on other vehicles. Uh, so I think being able to get my name out there, um, I think is, has been a huge part of my success. And I, uh, I take that as, as a self achievement, um, uh, grows the company, not only that, but it grows me and it, and it continues to network my name out there, um, uh, to society and to the public. So I think that's pretty, pretty awesome. Um, in terms of other achievements, uh, man, I, I think, I think the fact that I've been able to grow as fast and learn as fast as I can, um, is a huge part of why I've been successful the way that I have been. I think the, <clears throat> the fact that, uh, I mean, I got my MECP certification uh, for product specialist. I'm currently working on my um, apprentice technician, and I know that being a sales guy, that's that's not necessary because you're not going to necessarily be doing jobs. But just the fact that I'm taking that initiative to uh, to want to still learn and grow, and not just be uh, comfortable with where I'm, I'm at, and just, and just stay with that. Um, I see every opportunity as a as a way to grow one way or another, uh, whether it be humbling yourself. Um, <laughs> to uh, learning some more information, something that maybe you can utilize in, in another way that maybe isn't necessarily installing stuff. Um, Cause sales guys don't typically do that. Uh, but anyways, um, I think the last part of it that I would probably mention is the fact that the customer service for me is a big kind of aspect of what I try to to do as well so I know I touched on the fact of like retaining clients and building off of that and everything um, but I mean even like the hard times the hard times of of you have a customer service issue of a job gets messed up or doesn't get done properly in time um, I mean we all know working in this industry stuff happens like that and and being able to build off of that and uh, use it as a positive as opposed to a negative um, and make the client happy make your technician happy that's doing the job for you um, uh, I think that's another key strong strong set I, I don't know if that's the word but a key point uh, to what I try to do on a regular basis um, so looks like my time is kind of wrapping up uh, so yeah I think uh, I think I'm very well deserving of this rookie of the year award um, I'd love to have it and look forward to uh, Vegas this next year in February so thank you guys appreciate it and again Camera King, tight motoring, yes sir. <laughs>